There can be few people now that don't realise that we have a massive climate emergency on a global level. We need everybody to be doing something now. We can't all just sit back and think it's going to happen. We have a moment in time right now where there is a demand for action. So many people don't know what the action is. The role of the conservation sector is to enable them to be part of that solution. For me, the world path has like put me on a completely different path. It's put me on the world path. It's connected me to nature and it's allowed me to have this job that I have right now. And I'm really grateful for that. It speaks to opportunity, it speaks to connection, it's what our world so achingly needs. I know that what I'm doing is helping conservation and, and local wildlife. I spend my days trying to do a bit to help towards that and that's what I would like to do with my time. So we're bringing together some of our former trainees, some of our staff, to actually share their stories, share their inspiration, their motivation for a career in nature conservation. We're using a wonderful storyteller who elicits silences and the feeling that people have about this profession. So even though you're sharing stories of yourselves this weekend, really you're, you're sharing stories that are universal and the more personal they become, the more they're part of a connected whole. You talk about it for a little bit and, oh, it's a heat wave, oh, it's, yeah, it's climate change, it's horrible, and then that would be it. But, you know, it's sort of eating away in the back of your mind, like it's, it, is, it is there and it's, it's really scary. We need to emotionally engage people so that they actually feel empowered to do something. Wild Paths was a particular trainee programme that was funded and supported by the National Lottery Heritage Fund under their Skills for the Future programme, recognising that the heritage skills are as much part of the heritage as the heritage itself. Giving you that environment to go and learn on the job and be you know, qualified by experience was just the perfect environment for me to pick up those kinds of skills. Having somebody on your side and, and pushing you forwards and, and teaching and somebody to learn from is valuable beyond, beyond words, really. They're all really passionate about what they do, and so they're really happy to just share that with other people. They inspire me that they want to do it and they're passionate, and if you can help them on their journey, that's just amazing. So that's what drives me, and, and seeing people develop and grow and, and then get where they want to be. So we're up here on a bit of disused land on a farm, way up on the Mendips. Glastonbury Tor in the distance just over there, that's the Somerset Levels down there, and Bristol just over that side. The potential for high quality grassland here is worth taking all this out and then cutting the grass and continuously grazing it. Trying to promote species rich grassland, encouraging wildlife, increasing biodiversity. I wouldn't understand that kind of thing had it not been for the traineeship where I spent a year learning to manage land. The kind of experience you get from doing it in the field is difficult to write down or put in a book or learn sat at a desk. It's not like you have to be really physically fit and be happy wielding chainsaws to go and help the environment. If people skills is your thing or you're really IT literate or they're not necessarily into the practical going out on reserves all the time, there's still a huge amount you could do to help a specific trust, a conservation organisation or just the industry as a whole. I worked for the NHS for about 25 years, most of my work in life as an analyst. And then in 2020, I was made redundant. Because of my age, I felt I didn't have long to kind of try and get into a new career. Yeah, the Wild Pass was just perfect, really. Within one year, I'd got a year's worth of hands-on experience. I wish I'd done it a long time ago. So I would say to people, you know, to be brave and make the jump because it's worth it. If I can do it at 51, then, you know, anyone can do it. Over 90% of people who've come on the traineeship have found work in the sector. Everybody benefits from that. 
We've benefited from a very diverse range of skills that the trainees have brought to us alongside the ones we've been able to give them. I'm so lucky to have had the people that helped me and enabled me to go through with this traineeship. I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome, so I have real difficulties and I spent probably a year and a half or so at home. I had absolutely no idea if the rest of my life was going to be half an hour of activity that would put me in bed for the rest of the day or for a week. Working outside and working practically, that's built up my strength and that's a positive spiral. I do a bit more and I get a bit stronger and I'm able to do a bit more. And mentally, being able to do these things, that's a, you know, saying like I am capable of doing that. And look at these things that I've achieved. It has changed my life because I had no idea where it was going two years ago. And um, I know I still have no idea where it's going, but that's because there are so many options and I'm not stuck in one place. The most rewarding thing is seeing that transformative power of nature that can really change people's lives. If it's something you benefit from, it's something you nurture. And the more people that can be involved in that, the better. Here we are in Hengrove Mounds, site in South Bristol. My name's Ainsley. Um, I'm a conservation officer for Avon Wildlife Trust. Siding is one of my favourite parts of the job, I'd say. Something about the physical work. Each cut that you get, there's like a satisfaction when you do it. Seeing the difference before and after is really, really amazing as well. And it does look quite destructive, but the whole thing is we're removing matter so that species richness can grow up from that. Otherwise, it just turns into low species diversity. Personally, it's taken me to a, a place where I understand that me as an individual, I'm made up of um, just myself, but also who I'm around, the community that I'm around, as well as nature and the natural environment. There's this kind of triad of being. And if I'm in connection with the people that I'm around and, and enjoying my time with them, and if I'm in natural spaces, taking care of them, then I as an individual feel good and connected and, uh, yeah, content, I guess. Crow Wilder is a learning hub where people learn about ecology and it's a mix of food growing, different habitats to show people how they can manage their own garden or their own pieces of land for wildlife. Fairly central in the city, but there's a little oasis in all that. This is Grow Wilder's Wildflower Nursery. We get seeds from local reserves, so they're adapted to the climate. Lovely place to spend the day. It was just amazing to be kind of given that break and that chance to dive into something that you really, really want to. Yeah, it's been incredibly life-changing to integrate into a really incredible place and make really meaningful connections and relationships with really amazing people with a lot of knowledge and a lot of skill. The trusts have massively changed over the years to working much more with people, working in urban areas and connecting people with nature. If we can have these places that are in more urban settings to be these educational hubs, it's in amongst us rather than this other thing that you know you're having to go out to nature. It's literally on your doorstep and I think that's a real key piece of how we're going to make change is to be doing it where we are. Working in conservation does give you great opportunities for self-fulfilment, for waking up every day with a keenness to make something happen. This is a career that anyone can choose. If you've got the aptitude, the enthusiasm, the passion to want to do it, there's different routes in. Look for that route that suits you. We can all work together and really try to achieve something now to tackle this emergency. Everybody's small action is going to add up to a bigger picture. It's so important, like National Lottery Heritage Fund, that, that that they allow these schemes to get put together. It is enabling us to produce the next generation of conservation yes. leaders. These are people who are going out to make a difference in the environmental sector. The vast majority of the things that I can happily do now, I would not have ventured near without your encouragement. 
what I would hope is once I get to that point, there's still a traineeship for me to pass what I then know down to the next person. Otherwise, this knowledge and this skills and, and the enthusiasm you can impart for this kind of work would just be lost over time. And that's not a way to go forward. A word or a phrase for how you feel as you leave this weekend? I found some strength. Connected to everyone around me and everything around me. I feel hopeful about the future and about what we can do together and go forwards and achieve.